hello everyone i am again going to discuss some of the important tricks or you can say some important points of electromagnetic theory in this video today so i hope you all like the video i have shared before this one where i have talked about the important expressions which are going to help you to relate the k e b omega together and how we just modified the form of the equation the maxwell's equations that's the kind of trick i have discussed in my previous video so if you missed it just check it out you will find it helpful for sure okay let's go ahead with more discussion so today i'm going to talk about the multipole expansion so when we talk about the multipole expansion in that case we talk about the monopole we talk about the dipole we talk about the quadrupole and after that we are going to have the octopole so i am going to talk about this thing first of all that is how the potential will be dependent on r for the particular case and how the electric field will be dependent on r for the particular case okay that's what we need to talk about so I would tell you the dependencies first and then I'm going to talk about this thing that how you will check whether it's a monopole or is it a dipole. Okay, that's another thing you have to check out. So guys, first of all, if I will ask you to recall the uh, normal, the basic expression of potential. So I think everybody knows about it like the basic expression. It's 1 over 4 pi epsilon dot Q over R. Done. And if I will ask you to do, uh, just to recall uh, the electric field expression, so 1 over 4 pi epsilon naught Q over R square. Then, in this situation, what will happen? In this situation, we are going to consider, see, first thing, when you are going to start the dependency of potential for the monopole, if let's say monopole is existing there, so how it will depend on R? It will be inversely proportional to R this way for dipole, Simply keep on increasing the power of R. So R square, R cube here. Same way for the electric field, how you will be doing that. So you know the basic one, which is 1 over R square dependency. The next one will be R cube. The next one will be R to the power 4. Okay. So in this case, what will happen? In this case, so firstly, we have to check whether monopole is existing there, dipole is existing there, quadrupole is existing there, or octopole. So increase the power by one more okay for potential and electric field both but here i'm going to talk about the monopole and the dipole if any system is neither monopole nor dipole then you will go for quadrupole but it's rarely that you have to find the quadrupole moment in any case so that's why i'm going to talk about the monopole and dipole uh, then how to find the monopole moment or the dipole moment so for the monopole moments it's quite simple and easy you just have to consider the sum of all the charges and equate it with zero so when you are going to consider it sum of all the charges of a system present there and you equate it with zero then in that case if it is zero it's not a monopole okay if sum of all the charges will be non-zero then it is a monopole right this and this dependencies will be getting satisfied. So if sum of all charges of the system is non-zero, it is having some finite value, you will say, okay, monopole is existing there and you know the potential and electric field dependencies on R for the respective case. Now, let's say you got it zero, sum of all the charges, then what? Then in that case, you have to check out the dipole moment because you want to know whether it is dipole or not if it is not a monopole. So for that, the sum of q dot d that you have to check out like you find the dipole moment right d distance q charge so how many different charges are present there with respect to that reference point whatever distance you will have okay for all all those charges you have to just take the sum of this value if it is zero dipole moment is zero when dipole moment is zero it's not a dipole like overall value the sum of all these terms if it is zero then in that case dipole moment is zero and when dipole moment is zero that means dipole is not present there right uh, that means there is a great chance that it can be a quadrupole but if it is non-zero it means dipole is present there and that means we are going to have the respective dependencies of potential and electric field 
uh, on R as it has been shown here. So I hope it's going to make sense now and I hope it's going to get clear to everyone. But still, if you will have any doubt or something is not getting clear to you guys, you can surely mention it in the comment. So this was another trick video we had. Uh, electromagnetic theory important trick discussion in this video this is also part of path to success series for your upcoming csr net exam gate exam just tifr like it will be helping you in all the exams and mainly in the questions whenever they just ask you about the dependencies of v and e on r or they give you the options with the different powers of r present there it will become so easy for you to answer it just in few seconds if you know this trick okay so it will surely be helpful and as you know we are mostly going to keep the discussion quite simple less time taking easy like it's a trick so that's that kind of video we have for this one too okay now quickly i will tell you about the unacademy subscription so we are having the unacademy plus unacademy iconic and unacademy light subscriptions available on unacademy learning app depending on whichever you want to take whichever you find more beneficial for yourself you can take that subscription even now the important notes are available on unacademy learning app guys so if you will take the plus subscription or iconic subscription you will be able to check out these important notes also guys what are the benefits you will get if you will take the plus or the iconic subscription all that has been shown here on the screen Whenever you will proceed further to take the subscription, you can use and apply the code Anshli A Live to get the discount in the total subscription amount. Another thing is in upcoming days, so many new courses by the top educators will be starting on Unacademy. So if you don't want to miss them, take your subscription today and start your preparation under the guidance of top educators now. Thank you so much everyone for joining this session and for attending it till the end. And even if you are new on this channel that is Mission Net Physics exam, then you can subscribe this channel by clicking on the subscribe button below this video and uh, share the video with your friends too so that they will get to know about the important trip, tricks, tips, concepts, questions and whatever discussion we do in the sessions. Everything is quite important, something which nobody should miss if they are doing the preparation for any of the exams like csr net gate just efr so it will surely be helping them okay and to do the preparation with the well structured and well planned courses by the top educators you can take your subscription an academy subscription and start your preparation under the guidance of top educators with the well structured and well planned courses along with the important notes which are now available on the learning app thank you everyone and whenever you will go ahead to take the subscription, use and apply the code Anjali A Live to get the discount in the total subscription amount.